So Wigan begin proceedings with seventh place in their sights today, which should be enough for a place in the new Europa League next season. And they're jousting with West Ham for that particular place at the moment. Hammers going above them with victory over Sunderland yesterday, but Wigan's superior goal difference will be enough to take them back into that position. Everton's target clear, not yet given up totally on a place in the Champions League, perhaps, but certainly Europa League more realistic and an early free kick here. It's Baines to deliver, it's Watson on the end of it. The returning Tony Hibbert losing his footing. It's Michael Brown. But Hibbert recovering his ground and showing the tireless work ethic that's made him a favourite with the Everton favourite. Neville, Baines, he's made an offer there but is Osman trying to conjure something which he's well capable of doing. In the end Wigan able to see it out and perhaps fashion a break of their own and Zopria. There's two against six at the moment although Valencia joining. And Zopria. He's found Shana here and Mido. Vicious effort. It was ambitious, but uh, he's capable of striking from there. And on that instance, we just saw what we're going to try to do. Meadows coming deep, and Sharna and Valencia and Zogbia are going beyond him. And Everton needs to be wary of those three. You know, if uh, if, if Chagielka or if Leicester's going to come short of Mido, then those three are all looking to get in behind very, very early. Phil Neville. Cahill. That's a tear in his calf. Uh, I'm not sure if he was uh, being a little humorous, the Australian coach, but he reckoned after being with uh, their medical staff he'd be in a better state than otherwise. And a uh, little bite from Brown, that won't be the last, I'm sure. Well, humor or not, whether it was intended, football professionals don't like to, uh, to, to be spoken about like that and then have the suggestion that one set of. Uh, medical staff or anything is better than what you've got at your own club. If it's ball, Fellaini to attack! Well, half chance at one end, moments later, a reasonable chance at a good cross to the far post. And Sharnett, not for the first time, the furthest man forward, brilliant flick with his back heel there. And if Needle catches that properly, you know, that's, that's going to be one of the most spectacular goals of the season. This is Mido, Shana in the box, pointing the way. It's over him, but Valencia's arriving. I think it's fair to say, uh, not his strongest point, Valencia, coming in the far post heading. Unfortunately, in that instance, I'm not sure if it was Pinar or Baines, that just seemed to take his eye off both man and baller. Watson, who's become a goal machine of late. Onside, and Shana coming in! A chance for Wigan, and he does have a habit of scoring against Everton. This is Valencia's uh, forte. Lovely ball in from Watson, he's definitely onside. And that's a great ball, just puts his foot under to the far post. I think Sean will be disappointed he's not scored there, never mind hit the target. He should have scored there, he's got a jump on Hibbert, and he's got a clean header on it as well, and head in hands immediately, he knows that, that was a good opportunity. Well, three and three years against Everton for... Paul Sharner, he certainly got the service he would have craved there. A little warning sign if it was needed for Everton. Jagielka seeking out for Lainey. Not hard to pick out. 
This is Neville. Now Joe. Four up with him. Oh, the goal himself. Well, Tim, Tim Cahill not happy on the far post. In fact, he's less than happy. But Joe's first opportunity really to have it to get turned and have a run. He knows he's going to go on his left foot, and that's confidence for you. That's the British, I suppose, in management sense, the uh, up and coming. Steve Bruce, certainly the best of English. Yeah, and well, they got away with it somewhat there, Wigan. That was close. That was close. I thought Joe, for a second there, for a split second, was going to get round Bramble and just get something on this before the goalkeeper. Bramble did just enough, didn't he, just to run him off the ball. Lescott. Towards Fellaini. He was perhaps being tugged by Boyce, but he won it anyway. And here's Joe. Real chance for Everton. Which is actually He's no ordinary Joe, not in an Everton shirt, and the breakthrough comes. Great advantage, if, if it was an advantage played, absolutely great decision. And Osman and Joe and Flaney have appeared in this position three or four times already, and the pass hasn't been quite right, or the run hasn't been quite right. In this instance, it's a tight call from the linesman on this near side, but the pass was inch perfect, hit, that's a foul. Referee's seen it, I think. Yes, there's the advantage. Great first touch, and that's a massive, massive strength of Joe's. His first touch is immaculate. Good pass from Flyney. Touch, bang. Brilliant. Well, beautifully done, and he really is loving life here at Goodison Park. That's four in seven now. Two minutes of added time and we have entered those. Mido. Zombio making a real burst here. Mido's found it. Three in the area. Hibbert sticking to the task. Oh, no! He's not the first left winger to find Hibbert. Almost impossible to get by. Unspectacular, but does his job. Week in, week out, the right back. He gets a block on this. And Osman there. Well, it was a handball and was there a foul anyway? Barely any contact whatsoever there from Liam Osman. What controversy will rage if Wigan can make something of this? Watson's delivery. Seems to be caught in the game tomorrow. Normally so short in these positions, he's gone too far there. And has to recover his position just to just to, uh, to palm out for a corner. It's twice now he's come and got caught under the ball. There's some good headers of the ball in there for Wigan. Shana going near post. Boyce rises. It's a long way out there, Boyce. Isn't he? The ball's coming away from goal. He's actually stepping backwards as he heads it. That's a really difficult chance for the centre half to get the power on that. Needed to beat Howard from there. Very, very difficult. But, uh, well, Wigan not finished yet. That much is certain. It's a handball there, surely, right under the nose of the referee. Shana making that burst from midfield again. This is Watson. Valencia and Zogbia. Figueroa. Just got there, Edapina. Brown and Zogbia. Good work, Cahill. Oh, the half draws to a close. A few Wigan flurries at the end of it, but Everton, for the most part, have had the better of it, and they have the better of the scoreline as well, thanks to Joe. Another consummate finish from him, his fourth in his uh, fleeting Everton career so far. A lot of credit has to go to an excellent advantage played by the referee in the build-up to it. So, Everton in front at the interval. It's Everton 1, Wigan Athletic 0. And that's Hugo Rodaiega, the Colombian frontman who is going to come on and replace Michael Brown.
a few uh, words of encouragement and advice from surely soon to be his strike partner. So Everton begin the second half, protecting a lead, but uh, Wigan in their attempts to counteract that change of strategy. A second striker on in Hugo Rodallega. Yeah, it is a change of strategy. I mean, don't forget there might also been an element in there that Michael Brown at times looked in danger as if he might get sent off at some point. But, you know, the, the Wigan now straightforward 4 4 2. Sharma dropping with Watson. Uh, Rodallega go up front. Um, Steve Bruce's plan really of having the three the three men Sharma, Valencia and Dogby running beyond Mido as early as possible didn't really work as bold as it was so he's gone back to the tried and tested really show chasing but Bramble to swipe it away Hibbert it's for Liney dig out across here Good approach, position. Yeah. Good approach play again from Everton, started the half well. Nice one touch interchange down the right hand side. Hibbert couldn't quite get the cross. But the approach play merited. Osman. Oh, and Freddy gets there! And doubles Everton's money! Start to the second half, but as a manager, you dream of no longer. Um, Wigan have made the substitution, they've changed the shape. No matter, we'll just pick up where we left off. And the cross, it's okay, it's not great. Flying has got a lot of work to do here, just slightly behind him. He digs it out, he gets his foot round it, and that's actually a nice finish on the half volley, isn't it? Just turns it goalward, uses the, uses the pace of the cross itself. Good contact and a very casual celebration from, I have to say, a man who's, for me, having the best game in Everton's colours since he, uh, since he came from Standard Liège. It's been really impressive in that first half, and that's a really good finish. Well, Togby is seeking out the uh, substitute, Rod Iega, there. Well, if uh, Wigan needed to adopt a different approach, and uh, the second striker were... <laughs> Certainly they do need all the attacking armory they can muster now. And the danger there, of course, you're away from home, you're playing a team who are obviously, from what we've seen already, full of confidence. You push on to them and they've got the ability to pick you off and make chances. Joe Fellaini today in particular, Pinar Osman, and Cahill hasn't even started playing yet. Rises there though, the Aussie. Here's Pinar. Fellaini, Pinar, Osman. It's good stuff from Everton. The handball not intentional. Pinar to shoot. Bramble with an important block. Quick play, quick feet, short interchange again. Classic Everton. And uh, everything just seems to stand still there while they were waiting for the referee to give the handball. Fellaini coming in again. Are in danger of opening here. Yeah, I said to you before, Everton have started games in this fashion before. Just as they've started the second half well here. Another move down the right, across the far post. And Flynn just can't direct it. Similar position to Shana's um, chance in the first half, although not as good an opportunity. Good leap from the midfielder come strike it. And that was at the back of another move where Everton could easily have scored Pina or Osman. Might have scored in that movement earlier as well. So Wigan up against it at the moment. Lido up against Cahill there, winning a free kick. Delivery and Lescott making it. Great ball in, great defensive header from Jolly and Lescott. And was Watson's ball in. Set piece deliveries have been good. This is excellent, and that's a great leap and a great header from Lescott. Great position. Well, Rod Ayager and uh, Shana both arriving behind him could certainly have made that situation pay for Wigan. Get up, get up, play this. 
And up goes Titus Bramble. With the uh, instructions from the bench there. Cahill. Melchiot. Shana. Watson. Wigan needing a response swiftly here. Figueroa. Mido. Quite get it beyond here, but he took a bit of a sting, the sting out of it. The golden goal time for the first goal scored tonight was recorded at a time of 26 minutes and one second. 26 right. minutes and one second. Seen, uh, Everton double their lead and they have been one of the toughest teams to break down in the Premier League. Only the top three more clean sheets than David Moyes meant. Osman decided not to take the shot for Lani Willow and Jai's there! Well, certainly three points now, three goals for Everton, two of them to that man. But the man who's celebrating with him there in Smetal once again, through the middle, interchange of passes, the, the, the wicked defence just opened up there, and the pass into Lani was easy in the end. But the confidence to take the ball forward and to roll it forward, I thought the chance had gone. When Flaney had his touch, I thought he could have easily let this run and hit it first time. He's had a touch, good save. Joe's in the right position, he reacts quickest, and that's the easiest goal he'll ever score. But Osman again, he's been he's been ploughing that, that follow through the middle of the pitch from the first whistle. And he'll be thinking now, what does he do? He's got games coming up as well. I think they're running probably as good as you could expect at this stage of the season. So he's got future games to worry about and you know keeping the confidence of his, of his team going if he wants them to finish as high up in the league as possible it's Arsenal next for them at home they have uh, the champions Manchester United to come at home as well but other than that it's uh, a more forgiving run in than some Fellaini he'll go for goal has certainly merited well, and Everton heading for their biggest win of the season quite incredible this is a rout isn't it and just that change of uh, change of impetus really but the whole of the game Everton have tried to play their way in little short passes play any elements of, elements of surprise decides okay I'm gonna have a go why not things are going for us and the keeper there will not want to be watching that one back play to him tonight horrendous mistake it does bounce just in front of him but nevertheless he's got to get that out of the way of there uh, the onrushing Osman that assured finish from Leon Osman you quite rightly say he deserves that this is Joe three up with him here Osman wants it he'll get it and Shana will get the challenge in and he's got plenty of the ball despite the uh... he be disappointed with that Leon Osman because he had players both sides and he had the goal in front of him and he just to get caught in possession there that's not like him great tackle from Sharnett Mido Watson this time Rodwell was out to him but it's in Zogbia now Sharnett Watson to Figueroa Rodriguez a fashion and opening oh he did superbly well well, he's had a goal since he come on, hasn't he, to be fair. He's looked uh, lively, he's looked enthusiastic, he's looked strong. It's an unbelievable touch from the shot, and he knows where the goal is. It's not a bad effort. He knows at all times where the ball and the goal is. eye off it, it won't matter though, Osman wrestles the chance, oh, and Kirkland again wasn't able to hold on. Thought the chance had gone, Gosling just seemed to miscontrol it, but then he regained it, which is typical of the way that Wigan have just switched off really, they should have cleared it at that point. Comes to Osman, and great first touch as we've seen all afternoon, neat little turn, gets his shot off. At that point there you think it's gone, but no, gets it back, Osman switched on. Kirkland gets away with this one. Bramble up to Nzogbia. 
Oh, and Figueroa to take it on here. Oh, and Howard forced into action there, and Hibbert and Osman between them should be able to tidy up. Well, that's Wigan's best chance, and Sharma's has headed on the far post early on in the game at 0-0. I think Everton have just switched off a little bit now, and they're not as crisp, they're not as sharp as they have been. It's a great position. Rodaega comes in. Well on target, at least. Yeah, that's another chance. And the previous one, I think Figueroa's definitely taken the wrong option there. Should have picked somebody out. From the resulting corner, it's a headed opportunity. Difficult, easy for Tim Howard. Sahar's flick on. Uh, a minute and a half of the allotted three minutes of added time. Uh, Wigan can't get off the field quick enough. No, and there's uh, a lot of people around have decided that there's not going to be any more goals. Everton are going to win, and they've uh, made for the exit too early. Well, a Sunday afternoon stroll for Everton, and Joe at the heart of it with another two goals to to his rehabilitation in the Royal Blue Shirt of Everton but Leon Osman was the architect of Wigan's downfall for the most part and was able to get on in, the, in on the act with the fourth goal himself Everton now cruising towards a European place while Wigan's charge well, it hasn't quite been halted but it has certainly suffered a real setback here this afternoon the final score at Goodison Park Everton 4, Wigan Athletic 0 well, David, a hugely satisfying afternoon for you, no doubt. Certainly, especially after international week. You know, you just never know what what way your players are going to return sometimes and how they're going to perform. So, uh, thankfully, us today performed really well. You did have the first real decent chance of the game, though, didn't you, Paul? Sure. Well, we've had a couple of chances in the first half. Yeah, we had a good, really good opportunity from Paul, the good, the good header. But um, I have to pay a big compliment to Evan. As I said, sometimes you you get your backsides kicked, and we've certainly got it done today. And, you could have sometimes put your hands up that they were far better us on the day. You seem to have transformed Joe's fortunes. I mean, what what has been the key to that? Well, I think Joe's probably getting games, and uh, I can understand why you know he's not playing at Manchester City. They've got quite a lot of selection issues up front, and and players they've got. We've not had that. You know, we've had no selection issues. We've we've had no real centre forwards at all. So in the window, we we looked to see who we could bring in and. Uh, who was available and, and loanable was Joe, so we thought we'd have a go and, and he's sh shown bits of the form he showed when he was at CSK and his goals are really important for us, I don't know if that's four, five or six he's got for us now but they, 